in this video i will show you how to model this modular furniture in revit and i just modified it as a parametric once i make i finish to model this one so we have two option here okay so now in this project i use the architectural template okay so before we go straight to the tutorial i would like to ask everyone that uh, please view every part of this video and don't forget to like share or subscribe so everyone updated once i make a video tutorial like this okay, i just simply command rp for the reference plane okay i rename this into two one and this is the two okay so now once you have this you go to massing inside to draw the mockup first okay the mockup is the arc of the in the evidence so to do that one you go to in place mass okay and i just choose the center arc head and i just simply draw here like this okay so i just change this into is 3800 millimeter okay so remember I facing in the south okay so the arc is facing in the south elevation okay so I just go back into the level one and I just simply select this create form solid form and go to 3d okay use the control shift to rotate and you can verify it in the south okay di for the shortcut to check the height so 3 meter okay 3000 mm okay so once you have this go to 3d okay use the control shift to rotate select this divide surface okay and surface representation and nodes hit okay so now the gap of our reference is almost uh, i think uh, in the arc part is at least close okay so i need to maximize it to see so here is close and there is some gap in the uh, bigger arc of this one so to do that one okay you need to adjust this uh, spacing for this one okay so select this if you go into properties you see here the fix number so i use this fix number for this one so i just change this i think uh, six okay let's say six and this is 60 okay so i think this is enough six and sixty so now what once you have this okay so this is the mockup what i'm going to do next is to go to pile new family english okay family english and i just choose the metric generic model adaptive okay as i mentioned in the uh, beginning okay i am facing in the south elevation okay so if you are facing in the south elevation once you draw the parametric wood you need to go to left or as uh, right okay so now i go into right okay this is in this part is in the south elevation okay so my point element is at least in the left and right 
and hit okay so i just simply place a one two three four and five okay so if i go into my mock up one two three four five six so five six so this is wrong so i just change this into five okay five and sixty two three four five six so i just uh, change it uh, you can play it here by changing the uh, this uh, point element of this one okay one two three four five okay so if you select this four and sixty okay so once you have this okay you can close it the other uh, opening view so now we we'll have this di for the shortcut to make it this equal but before that you can select this first and set this into 3000 okay di okay to equal the point element okay de for the shortcut to delete Okay, select this DE to delete window it all the point element. And now you can make adaptive and is plain and in the properties you see the reference line this enable this one. Okay, so if I select this, okay, if I drag it all the way down, okay, orients to instant x y and z okay so i in this part is the south and this is the north so now what i'm going to do is to go draw a rectangle here is snap it in the last point element okay select this twice and set this into 5m or 5000 millimeter okay of for the shortcut and i just set the offset of 200 okay so 200 is the thickness okay tr for the shortcut to trim it the edge okay this smaller rectangle this is the void for this one Okay, so now we use the shape to rotate it and I just select this, create form, solid form, and I just change this into 200. Okay, 200, select again this, change this into wireframe, create form now, void form. Okay, and I just simply drag it this like this. Okay, hit the tab, select this. And you can drag it also this one. Okay. So now once you have this, select this, hit the tab to select. Okay. So MB for the shortcut to move it in the middle like this and change the category or material. Okay. I just simply duplicate it this. Okay, wood, go to appearance, appearance, double click, tick uh, folder, and you search the wood. So now I just simply select this birch, apply, and hit OK. Okay, so now load and close okay so we need to save it this yes okay and modular design okay so use the rotate uh, shape to rotate okay and i just simply place it now or and five 
okay and repeat so this is the one already okay so we got already the exact shape of the modular partition now i will change this as a parametric so that's why i give the height of 3000 or 3 meters okay to, to do that one i just go to hit finish okay hit finish and go to site okay go to massing inside use the topo surface and i just simply place a point here like this okay and I just change the category okay duplicate it okay let's say side or grass select this okay go to appearance and now choose the site work and choose the grass bermuda Wait for a second. Okay, apply. Okay. And now, once you have this, okay, hit finish. Okay. Go to sub region. Okay, sub region. Draw a rectangle. Snap here. Okay. Hit the tab to select all MM for the shortcut. Okay, MM for the shortcut to mirror in the other side. Okay, and of course you need to change it also this. Okay, duplicate again this and I'll name it into white. Appearance. Okay. And type it here, white. And I just choose the gypsum. Okay, gypsum white. Apply, apply, okay. And hit finish. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is to go to building pad. Okay, so building pad and use the pick line to select this and this and now you can use the arc okay arc center end you snap it in the middle like this and you can draw it like this okay so now you can move it also dmb for the shortcut to move it here okay and now tr to trim it this okay sl and join element so you can use the line okay and now tr Okay, so call the control ship. Okay, MB. To move it back. Okay, so now once you have this, you can hit the finish. And now I just go into site. Okay, and I just simply place a female and male also. In this part. Okay, and I just go to site again. And I just place the American birch. I just place in this part. Okay. And you can DE to delete the 
other one go again to side component and other three. Okay. So now what I'm going to do next is to go into camera and I just simply set the camera in this part. Okay, and I just simply drag it all the way up this. Okay. And now I just change for RR for the shortcut to render. Okay, I just choose the medium, sky, very few clouds, adjust exposure, 10, 2, and this is 6,000. Apply OK, and now we can render it. So this is the output of our uh, modular, okay, modular parametric walkway or modular furniture. Okay, so I just uh, did mistake in the people because this is a uh, sitting, but it's okay. I just simply only put here as uh, clearly. Okay, that people can entry in this one. Okay, so thank you to all of you. Don't forget to like, share, or subscribe so it's help you out a lot, including uh, everyone appreciated once I make a video tutorial in this channel. So, see you again in my next video. Bye bye, and God bless you.